One button on the right floor. Everybody got like, where is that? <laughs> that one button next to my thumb. So let's go ahead and do this again. Place your weapon on stage. Place your weapon on stage. There we go. Now, I want you to go ahead and squeeze the trigger. My bad, I didn't put a question mark in With your firing hand, you're going to squeeze that trigger. With your non-firing hand, I want you to charge this weapon one time. Now this first row, I want you to slowly release the trigger. Second row. I heard a click instead of a clunk. Was that you? That was you, right? All right. Third row. All right, everybody, squeeze the hole. Charge. Slowly release. Squeeze the hole. Charge. Slowly release. Squeeze the hole. Charge. Slowly release. Squeeze the hole. Charge. Perform this step six times because there's little teeth inside that trigger mechanism, and that's what we're checking. Making sure that each of those little teeth is working. Now, after you've done that six times, I want you to go ahead and place your weapon on the first. Without squeezing the trigger, I want you to charge your weapon one time. Now I want you to squeeze the hole. Now we're going to charge three times. And slowly release. One more time. Slowly release. Good. Now I want you to squeeze and release. Try to place your weapon on the safe. Oh, oh that's good safe, right? Now we are completing our fun check. Here's our disclaimer. If any portion of your function check does not pass, continue use of your rifle could result in serious bodily injury or harm or death. Whoa, what? <laughs> yes. We want to make sure that if your rifle does not pass any portion of this, that you return that weapon to combat arm protection because continue use of this weapon could cause injury to yourself or death.